Hi, good morning, everyone. So my name is Kathleen. Today will be our special session. So you know, since we have ended our entrepreneurship impact like two weeks ago, so we would like to introduce you, you to you a gem today, like about like especially to those entrepreneurs who have follow been following us. So it's actually a useful tool we call Bubble, which allows you to create a platform without knowing how to code. So one of our community is here, Charles, who has came across to use this um, platform called Bubble and he mm. learned through a course mm. called Coding Without Code. So mm. instead of outsourcing you know, the website to create by um, someone else, he can create his own platform now. So mm. Charles would like to share with you, like, share with us like, what makes you join this Coding Without Code course to learn Bubble. Mm. Uh, for myself, I think uh, I'm always quite fascinated with the technology world, especially now if you, uh, I mean the market now is all going towards digitalization. So um, there's a lot of stories about tech startups making millions overnight. Uh, of course, they don't really do it overnight, just that the results that they see is very tremendous and very, I can call it insane lah just within a matter of uh, days or, 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 or weeks la, where they see very crazy growth in, in their business because of uh, technology, which is very different from traditional businesses. You know, there's a lot of examples uh, like Uber, Grab, uh, Facebook, uh, Google, and many, many more. So um, I'm always quite fascinated with the technology world because uh, technology can help us access or connect to many people across the world. And it's a much scalable business model uh, as compared to an offline traditional uh, physical retail store sitting down and the traffic that we are able to get is very contained. But when we talk about technology, this is something that can be very expensive because a piece of technology can easily cost a six to seven figure just to head it. And that is without marketing, uh, without involving marketing, just based on pure technology. So I was always fascinated with technology, but I don't know how. And I know that if I want to get my hands on one, it's very expensive. It's crazily expensive. Uh. So even I want to do something or have a crazy idea, it will be very expensive. Um, current tools that I know is very limited. For example, we talk about Wix, Shopify, you know, all these uh, common uh, site builders in the market, they can't really do what, a, they can't really make into a good application. It is very standardized, it's very templated, but if you want to learn coding, uh, HTML, PHP, or CSS is very complex, confusing, and takes a lot of time. So I, I think I come across this code without coding course, and I feel that it, it's something that is very, uh, unique because you are able to code a mobile application really just using a drag and drop function and it's not the Wix WordPress kind of templated whereby you are really able to customize the, the apps and codes not really codes lah, but you don't really need much coding but it's more to a drag and drop kind of function to build the ideal mobile apps that you want so this is something that I find it very interesting so I actually took up and because of this, I managed to learn um, certain skills and I understand more about the technology world. So even though I myself, I am not involved in too much of the coding part, but at least I understand uh, the process. I can understand how the technology works. Of course, uh, I did do some coding also uh, using the, the, the platform, the Code Without Coding. Um, I managed to build something, I find it quite impressive. La. Managed to build something, you know, it's a prototype, a so-called credit system, but I can send money la, to each other, but it's fake money. <laughs> but at least I'm able to do such thing, which I don't think I can do it in WordPress, Wix, or, or Shopify. Not to name that they are bad, but there's always limitations to certain platforms. And that's why I actually appreciate uh, Code Without Coding. I mean, the benefits I can get is much, much more because imagine somebody pay you, I don't know, maybe high five figure or six figure or even seven figure la, just to build a app. I mean, uh, that is also good money. La. 
other than just saving money for myself. So this is why uh, I, I benefited a lot from the code without coding course. Uh, the skills are like, really very helpful. Mm. Yeah, you mentioned a lot of technology platform. And oh, oops. <laughs> somehow, yeah, this is something special that you can easily learn even without any prior experience in coding. Agree, agree. So how was your experience, you know, during the course itself? It's a two-day course. And mm. how, like, environment, trainer, all this? Uh, trainer was very patient um, to, to guide, to also show how I can, um, uh, how, how I can actually uh, build the, 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 the platform. Yeah. I, I won't say much about the fine details because I think that would be very technical and very boring. But overall, definitely, I can learn something. Uh, and I myself, uh, I don't come from any IT background. Uh, I actually come from engineering background. I don't think that helps. Um, I score very badly for my C++ programming at university. <laughs> but I think in terms of the way that it's being taught, uh, it's definitely different from what you learn from lecturers. It's not boring. It's quite interesting like i can say these two days course is quite fulfilling i uh, really pick up a few pointers here and there that's why i can build that wallet system uh. i mean uh, i really can walk away with a skill uh, to build certain things so i think quite helpful and even after the course i have some question uh, i can still ask the learner and it's quite helpful uh, to share with me uh, certain things uh, you know what to edit what to click and all these things but of course that's me uh. i mean if somebody go for the course just to see, see, look, look. Definitely, he might not walk away with things, lah. But I came for the course with an agenda that I do not want to pay an uh, insane high amount of money to developers, mm -hmm. so that I can have control of the, the application that I built. Uh, I benefited, yeah. So that's for for myself. Mm. Saving money while you know uh, building out a skill for yourself. Yeah, correct, correct. So it's really very helpful. It's a good technical skill, like I can see. Yeah, so talk about technical skill. Maybe I can show you some demo, like um, how the platform works. And so this <laughs> this platform, I will share a screen. This platform is actually done by one of our community members. Mm. So, so, um, can you see the screen now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this is actually a clone... Um, Insta story, Instagram. Oh, so you know, like it's simple as simple as similar as Instagram, and these are the platform itself. So it's simply by let's say drag and drop, like you can create an icon and upload, upload the photo itself, or you can simply type, type any input. So how it works, right, is, is more like, um, so you can see there's, this is the design. You can see the front page here. And there is a workflow. Workflow is actually, like, for example, if there is a button here, when you click. So let's input a button. A button is um, a drop-down button. So you, you can see there's a start and edit workflow here. So you can catch it, you can, when you click, right, you say navigate, let's say you navigate to a page, to another page. So from here, you can see there is a lot of different page. So mm -hmm. like, like, same as Instagram, you have your profile page, you have your home page. So this is how you navigate it, that to a page. So that's the reason. The coding itself is actually already done behind the platform. So what we have to do is just to link up. So same as here, there is data. Data is for you to key in. You see, there's user, there's post. And everything is recorded back end once there's user sign up. So it's all recorded here. So what you simply do is just to design a front page and you link up the back end work by simply yeah, connect to the workflow. So as simple as that. Is that to what I am understanding, like Charles? What any anything to add on about the platform? Yeah, this is pretty much what uh, we learn uh, during the course. It's really drag and drop. So there's no need for complex coding. Uh. 
yeah and a lot of wonderful apps can be created using this platform itself so yeah the the interface looks quite quite interesting i think you can also build pure mobile apps itself lah, for those that are keen on mobile applications only so it's really very useful yeah so it can be a mobile application a web or just a website itself correct so, correct so this is like it's not the clone as you see like i can simply add a photo hmm. uh, upload an image hmm. so you know, it looks very much like the Instagram application. <laughs> yeah, I think it's more into like Instagram, yeah. So you can see from the front page. Yeah. So you can add on a lot of different features. Of course, like if you want to have followers, all this, and my profile. Yeah. So whatever with this, like you can even design a style. So mm. there are different style, different color. Adjust the button, so it's very free flow and, and not difficult to learn at all. Hmm. Yeah. So, um, so this is one of the example. Hmm. Uh, let me see. Let me sh Stop the I think I think pertaining to this, they can also use the the, the good thing about Bubble is uh, the database of the mobile app as well as the database for the web based application mm. or the web based platform are both the same. So you don't need to do um, like synchronizations of your database. Law. So that is the I think one of the beauty of uh, of, of this platform. Law. Yep. Maybe Tony, you wanted to share any like your experience of using Bubble so far, like. Yeah. What have you done? Or Same as Yong Tai. You know, um, I I actually I use for many years already. So so I think I think it's a brilliant platform. Um uh, uh in short, um uh, people without uh coding experience can do as long as you have a conceptual mind la, the flow on how it is going to be done. La. So as long as you know what you want, you can get to where you want. So I think that is um why it's so powerful. And then you can as as uh, Yong Tai said you can control the technology and don't don't sublet to other people. Lor. So then, then you have the niche of uh, being an entrepreneur. So you don't need to rely on anyone. Lor. You are in control. Yeah, so so that's the beauty part of uh, Bubble. And I think other my experiences is that it can build platform like in a very short time. So typically I have a, a development works like for this a typical platform for six months. When using Bubble to build, it takes, uh, I think it takes about two months to three months maybe half the developer time so so and then it's also no need to have a big big team behind the whole things so you you need to have a team but however team will be more lean and and think being lean is what uh, tech startup need to be in in the near future yep that, that that's my that's my that's my learning from bubble yeah so actually using bubble you save a lot of times and also of course money for you to outsource to people so maybe Bubble actually like yeah, is some some um startup company from US. So how we venture about this is like um it, it it's not in Asia so far. So this coding without code course actually founded by, by a company called Skill of Technologies. So they are the pioneer of like using bubble like so this is some some new costs for you to venture in, especially for those entrepreneurs who don't have much capital to start with however they can build a platform or a website on their, their own which save as i mentioned a lot of time and energy yeah so so um let's charles like you 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 are an entrepreneur yourself like will you recommend this course to people or anyone who wanted you know to start a business mm, definitely for those that are looking into business i mean more to technology business i mean if you are looking to sell chicken rice uh, at a coffee shop then uh, thing don't really have to la. <laughs> unless you want to do a technology chicken rice store then uh, i think you can consider yeah but i think for those uh those technopreneurs i uh, we call it uh, i think it's a very good skill to pick up yeah the technology that you can i mean technology is 
limitless. Lah. I mean, there's uh, anything that you can build as long as you have a proper, like what uh, Tony mentioned, uh, proper direction, proper framework, proper idea. Lah. I think it will work. Uh, but if you just want to learn technology and hope something happen, then uh, it might not work. Lah. Yeah, so uh, I think the industry that you pick is important if you're into, um, I mentioned F&B or things that don't require technology, then uh, it, it won't apply to you. But I think it's always a good skill lah, because who knows what will happen to the current industry, like no COVID. Uh, people think used to think tourism and F&B is very popular and hot. COVID hits, then that's it. <laughs> yeah, but technology, on the other hand, become better. People are coming into technology. People wants to make their website. People wants to invest in uh, technology company. Zoom suddenly become uh, uh, very, uh, how to say, uh, their, their stocks increase by a lot, very valuable, all technology company. So, I mean, who knows? Like, it's always good to pick out additional skill. But I believe technology definitely will become more and more uh, higher in demand because now people are more familiar with uh, meeting online. I mean, now we are at Zoom. La. <laughs> I mean, uh, Tony is at Japan. Uh. <laughs> I mean, elsewhere. Then Kathleen is in another place. I mean, we are all very used to, to it now. So definitely technology will be much more uh, higher in demand. La. Uh, that, that's why I feel. La. I mean, thanks to COVID. But sadly to say, COVID also affected a lot of industry. So who knows, this might help you make more money. La. Yeah. So I wanted to add on about the chicken rice you mentioned just now, you know. <laughs> mm. Especially now, like coffee shop, I mean more on a food like coffee town. Mm. You know, now there is a lot of payment system and mm. they are still using technology. So mm. technology in terms of ordering, so you don't need to queue at the store itself. Mm. Like, it will show up like when's your queue coming out through your mobile phone. So this is what we can utilize using Bubble also. Mm. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Uh, technology side, but if you want to be the guy ch chopping the chicken rice, then it's very hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is how you, you make the system, you know, you do the back end work, and, mm. you know, save a lot of time and, and how it let the business flow and it's more, more flowy, like, yeah, yeah, you don't need to queue directly in front of us. This is how we utilize technology and it's about innovative like, mm. in business. So, agree, so before I close off the session, like, is any one of you have anything to advise to those who, who always wanted to start, you know, learn learn coding or what or what to build a platform itself? So this is the opportunity now. So we have a coding without code offered by Scale Up Technologies, which is something that you you all benefited from. Yeah. So so I add on something. So in order to like, you know, the trend now is uh, basically in the tech side. So if in order to like enable you to do well, okay, you just follow the trend. Uh, that, that is what I believe. Uh. Then, but uh, follow the trend without knowing how to do it also an issue. So uh, getting a proper skill set and diversify or, or this adapt to a new skill role will be, <coughs> will be something that maybe um, you need to be mindful of. Because um, if you have more knowledge or more skill set, right, that, then you'll be more diversified la, with your risk. Because nobody will really like take care of you and all this stuff. But uh, you need to you need to up your value la, to, in the value chain. So in order to do better, la, I, that, that's how I feel. La. So I think I think this will be something that um, can look forward to. If you want to learn something in, in this year, maybe this year you want to learn some skill set, then maybe this is one of them you can um, explore around and see whether is it is it good for you. Yep, but it's in the trend and you can build something of uh, problem solver. I think that will be the main thing. Uh. If you can solve problem, I think the value will come in. Uh. Yep. Anything else, Charles? Definitely agree with what Tony mentioned. Uh. It's always good to have a backup plan. I mean, we don't know what will happen. Uh. Actually, I'm quite glad to have this backup plan because initially I was in the sales line. So I know nuts about technology. Uh. But luckily, I picked up from, from scale up. The technology then uh, it helps me a lot during covid uh, i don't say a lot uh, but it helps me fairly a bit as compared to doing nothing at home uh. mm. so it's always good to have a good backup plan especially in technology uh, it's a skill that is highly sought after i mean people mm. are willing to uh, engage you uh, just to do something because they don't know uh, but you know <laughs> yeah. so technology is actually quite good uh. you can fit into any industry because anything anywhere needs technology 
So for those that are contemplating, can try try and not don't say try lah, but can consider seriously about uh, this uh, technology part. I mean, if you can have control about technology, I think it's quite quite good lah. Mm. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's how. That's the session for today. Thanks everyone for sharing your experience about coding without code. Mm. This course offered by Skilled Technologies. So we will share this video on our channel. So feel free to inquire also, like if you have any questions, what's the course about or any the, about the bubble or any technical side. So um, tune in to our channel. We will share with you something else um, in the upcoming weeks or anytime soon. Thanks everyone. Have a nice weekend ahead. Thank you. Bye-bye.